at 5.30 a.m. on Monday the 4th of October 2010, Expresso's first episode aired with presenters Michael Moll, Katlejo Maboe, Liesl van der Westeisen, Ewan Stradom and Kia Johnson. The show was only two hours long and the first broadcast wasn't without its share of technical glitches. And of course we have a music studio to be manned by, watch this step, watch this step, we're going to move outside in a moment. Oh, it's Keiko, Keiko, Keiko. Look at that. We need a microphone for you, don't you? Because we can't hear a thing. We can only see what you're talking about. Um. So. And now, just two weeks short of our fourth birthday, we've hit a thousand feel-good mornings. Goedemorgen, San Bonani, Wolleni, Abseri, Dimelang, Dibom, Atseroni, Goedemorgen, and welcome op Expresso op SABC3. Over the years, we've brought you everything from strange pets to fitness, which at times were even stranger. Oh, no! Well, I think from the very beginning, Ewan has been the official guinea pig on the show. I've seen him test every kind of fitness segment on him. I've seen him do yoga, even try his hand, a little bit of Muay Thai. And just to top it off for Ewan, who really cannot dance, some Zumba. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? I'm, I'm getting it. <laughs> he hasn't really had a let off in the health segments either. He has been poked, prodded, and even injected. Woo! No, it's not so. I saw it go in. And that's not even mentioning the tarantulas and all manner of strange and bizarre creatures he's gotten very up close and personal with. We've shared all that's in style, from pet fashion to med fashion, from bake-offs to steak-offs. My favorite fashion moment has got to be the swimwear show that we had with models going through a shower, diamond jewelry, and a menagerie of animals. Now, I'm telling you, no one's looking at her because everyone's looking at the, the piglet that has the same hairstyle as me. We've also had some really cool cooking moments on the show. We've had three chefs come in and do a fish braai. You like that, huh? Oh, Heerlijke vars, wow. gerookte vis. We've also had a really cool burger cook-off. Uh, we got this. You've got, we got this. My favorite moment was that big bake-off we had on our balcony. There was so much work that went into that, but it was all worth it when we got to speak to Buddy Velastro from New York. Hi, Expresso. I'm Buddy Velastro, the cake boss. And of course, international celebs, from Hollywood stars, to soap stars, to singing superstars. So wake me up when it... Wait, was that Britney? I don't know. You just transformed Derek from Lady Gaga into Britney Spears. If you've been watching this show for the thousand episodes that we've been on air, you know that I'm a big lover of music. It really fills and fulfills my life and my heart. And I've been very privileged to see many artists performing um, here on our set from all across different genres. We've gone through some changes over the years. Early in 2011, Michael left Expresso to give his full attention to his new show, Hello Doctor. And who can forget when Bob arrived on our first birthday and stole the hearts of the nation? Bob, the Expresso Frenchy. <laughs> Later that year, Leanne Williams joined the team as our resident couch potato. And early in 2012, Graham Richards stepped in to bring us the sport. It really does feel like home coming into the Expresso studios. After Liesl and Kia left in November 2012, the awesome foursome took us into 2013, until Ilana Afrika Breerenkamp made it the Fantastic Five in July. Well, with Expresso being a live show, there's no telling in what can really happen. And I learned this really early on with the pet segment with Bob and Bella. Bella became really jealous because Bob was getting all the attention. How long did you t t did it take to teach Bella? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Not very long. Things doesn't always run smoothly behind the scenes, and I have to make it look like it does even if it means crawling on the floor. And once you're there, <laughs> you've got to stay there because the live show will carry on. <laughs> when Don Sons Lisa came on the show, just before we got to the interview, we actually realized that they fell asleep. And we were in an ad break, so I just told everybody not to wake them up. And uh, we kind of snuck up on them and woke them up live. Hey, dudes. You know, you know, you know, you know, you a really cool live moment for me was during one of our Christmas shows, we were outside and we spotted a group of people on a balcony with a big Merry Christmas banner. We signaled to them to phone us and they actually did and we spoke to them a few minutes later. 
With live broadcasts, there are many opportunities to play pranks on each other. The most legendary of all was Michael's revenge. So look, I, I just heard the advice from the medical practitioner who was there who said that if you want to combat head lice, you've got to use mayonnaise. And then, you know, a few days later, there I was doing the weekend events, reading them from the teleprompter. Today is the last day of that festival in uh, Grahamstown. Uh, the Russian ballet in Cape Town featuring uh, Svetlana Plitsetska. Michael came into the control room just before that we got to that segment. And I saw him sit down at the Last computer that scrolls the text that Kat is supposed to read. And I saw him typing away. A new season of Backstabbers at Bougelis in Maine starts in April with the award-winning play, You Son of Her. <coughs> wow, why is that even there? If you saw what was on that screen right now, you would smack me because, it, yeah, it says something I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, for the mayonnaise shampoo, sucker. Wow, who's doing this to me? This is really, really crazy. I'm not even going to be talking about this. Oh, man, he got me so he got bad. You can even say those Russian words. <laughs> he got, got me so bad. You know what? I'm going to get you guys. He's on taller. April Fools is something we always have a lot of fun with. And uh, we tried a few different things, but the most recent one was definitely the best. We created a fake news story uh, reporting on the fact that a mermaid fossil had been found on the west coast. Uh, it was quite an elaborate prank because we got um, some of the production team to phone in as various experts and it completely fooled the presenters. They left the show at 8.30 believing that there was a mermaid fossil that had been found on the west coast. The next morning, we revealed that it was all a hoax. We had so many complaints from bosses <laughs> that everyone was on their computers like, where is the mermaid proof? I See, need it, the mermaid proof. It was, proof. yeah, even I fell for it. <laughs> we've been through a lot together. Pregnancies, new arrivals, and we've watched our Expresso family grow. And we're far from done. We'll be bringing you more laughs and entertainment every weekday morning to make sure you start your day the feel-good way. Here's to another thousand episodes of Expresso.